<laughs> so my friends, I wanted to. Um, I just I was just dealing with a scammer on. Uh, they have they send texts and stuff, and um, like if you have a, a a car on Craigslist uh, and you leave your phone number, they'll they'll start texting you from some weird number and they'll start a conversation and a very nonchalant manner say hey i'm sorry i haven't contacted you about the car i lost the number this is one of um uh, you know establish a connection or some of them start say hey how many miles are on the car and stuff like that and or or you know some question about the vehicle you're posting so you think it's a legitimate person so i think what they do is they have some type of automated system that's monitored by a live person and when the person um actually takes the bait then the the live person takes over um so they what i did was i, I all of a sudden they'll they'll send you an uh a text saying hey i want can you get a report on um can you go to this website and and get a report on this car a vin number search and whatever it's usually elite vin auto elite or something like that is the name of it i think one of them and uh you go out there and then they'll you know you're thinking them but they you know they'll they'll for the lay person that doesn't have experience in dealing with buyers scammers and stuff uh they'll they'll make you believe the person believe that they're very interested in the card i have cash money i have i'm gonna i need in a hurry i can whatever tomorrow we can meet i need a car right away my daughter some whatever uh, they, they'll go into a script or whatever. They tell them what to say to trigger the person's interest. And the person, the seller, uh, some people would go into this website and they'll, um, they'll, end, you know, they'll enter the information of the car and they'll, you know, get charged for, for a, a report on the vehicle. And, um, and I haven't read much into it, but, you know, it could be also that they, they, they scam you out of, they charge you more than they say. They, they hit you for the recurring charge. It's a scam. So, and a percentage of those people, uh, the people will not, um, there's a percentage of the people who do buy into it, who don't fall, do fall for the scam that will, um, you know, will just let it go and just, oh, fuck it. I got a report out of it. So, so those, are, that's where, how they make the money. But me, I'm, I tell them, you know, number one, I, I'm nasty to them. So I just I tell them, hey, find another mark. You don't know who you're fucking with. And um, then when they go after that, that triggers your answer triggers an automatic response. And so what I do, if it's via email, I'll just take pictures of the crack of my ass or my testicles or something and I'll send it to them. Uh, picture on the email if I'm on my phone and um, <laughs> they usually they if it's on a text on this scammer programs they don't they don't accept pictures uh, but they if they give you an email uh, you can send them the pictures via the email um, and then I'll curse them out and tell them go fuck your mother or something like that or swallow my cum and uh, <laughs> start going really dirty on them and or call them a cunt or an asshole or a piece of shit, whatever. I'll just insult them to trigger them, and then usually that's when when uh, when a person takes over uh, and say, "Hey, oh, whoa, wow, language, Can you please, please mind the language," and and then just to make you think that it's an actual person, it's an actual person actually probably answering that uh, when they say that, and um, then then you can start going deeper into insults and into usually sexual explicit insults and stuff you can send them like bestiality you know animal human porn and then i send them sometimes you know like really old people uh you know i mean like nasty nasty people that don't that you have to have a fetish for for you to be turned on with otherwise you're gonna you know, probably go, you know, when you see the, the clip. So I send them those clips <laughs> and they usually stop about, about the time when I tell them, tell them if, if they would like me to send pictures of me fucking their girlfriend or in the ass. 
So, uh, but then I'll, I'll, I'll close with, hey, where did you go? I was just beginning to have fun. And they usually don't contact you back. So, hey, that's a good idea, I think. Uh, I'm not a lawyer and this is not legal advice. <laughs>